Hey guys, how are we all doing today, tonight, whatever time it is? 17 42. And today I'm going to do my Thrash Metal CD collection. But I need to do something first. I forgot to show off one of my albums that was in the Death and Black Metal thingy last week. And that album is done over in hard work by the one and only Carcass. I'm also going to stress that there's another album I wanted to show, but I, but I don't know where the hell it's gone. I think there's somewhat two ghosts in it. Uh, it was my Napalm Death Scum like CD. And I'm kind of really pissed off because I fucking love that fucking CD. Because some fucker fucking stole it. Like, I took it to school one day. I don't know why I know I took it to school. It's fucking stupid. Right? Okay? You know, this cunt who went in my bag, you know, I knew he took it. And I'm like, I haven't gotten it back since. Alright? So yeah, I'm pretty fucking pissed about it. But anyway. So this is my Carcass Heartwork CD. Uh, it's my favourite Carcass album. Uh, there's people who love this album and there's people who hate it. I'm personally one who fucking loves this like progressive melodic death metal take on like, you know, what Carcass had in the old days. So I'm going to start doing my little like thrash metal fucking... Oh, give me a second. Well, fractional collection here. Little fractional collection with you. All right, so I'm gonna start. You know, on about. Ugh, start now with everyone's favorite fractional album. Yep, I'm gonna start with everyone's favorite fractional album, Slayer: Rain and Blood. It makes me sad to say it's my only Slayer CD. Okay, that's who does. Yeah, quite a fucking. Makes me an actual sad motherfucker to say that's my sad only slur CD. But boy, is this a fucking banger. If you're a metal fan, not heard this record, you know. Go get off my fucking channel. Get your lazy ass on fucking YouTube and listen to the fucking album. It will change your fucking life. Uh, or you can you know, just do it after the video, I mean. I'm being a little dick. Oh, I'm being a dick. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so anyway, I also mentioned that I have Groove Metal in here. So I'm going to start with Machine Head. Burn My Eyes. I actually bought this when I actually, like, I heard Davidian on, uh, Scuzz TV. Yeah. And I bought, like, I, uh, you know, I was looking around, like, why I know that this was on the album, because I knew that was... And then, like, the funny thing was, the next day I was actually got to, like, the CD store. You know, I actually got the CD. <laughs> which is fucking awesome. You sort of hear those dogs, like, barking around. They're really blunt and annoying at the moment. Because, <laughs> like, all I do is, like, scratch the door and stuff. And I'm, I'm going to let them out after. I'll take them for a walk, probably, or something. I don't know. <sighs> Silly dogs. Bloody hell. Alright, but anyway. Metallica Red Lighting. Sorry, you can kind of tell it's a pretty worn out case. Uh, cool thing inside. Like that. It's a pretty worn out case. Yeah, I've had this through a fucking shitstorm. So, anyway. Away from like the. Yeah, I know I've only done bands from Big Four so far. And most of these are actually from Big Four bands. Because I want to pick up those others, but like. When I was like getting mad to CDs, I only like listen to the big four. It's kind of close minded about it. So, anyway, here's the first metal album I ever bought. Yeah, it's the first metal album I ever bought Lamb of God, Ashes of the Wake. Fuck yes. This album is fucking amazing. You know, there's Laid to Rest. <laughs> there's Laid to Rest. There's like Hourglass. There's a Murder. There's like the self titled track, you know. They're all, it's a fucking magnificent album. It's the, their best album. Fact. Okay. You know what? Here's the newest fresh album I got. I got it at the same time as getting Cradle Filth, Cryptorania. Municipal Waste, Slime and Punishment. Fuck yeah. First band I ever got into with Vital Big Four, actually. I like how they mix like the thrash, like they get the comedy part of thrash. <laughs> it's quite funny because like when that brief Grease video came out, I was like, I gotta get this fucking album. The song's going to be in stuff. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm just sitting there like an evil smile on my face. I know, I'm kind of getting cringy now, but anyway. It's fucking the gods. The gods of fucking Thrash gave this album to us. And I just ate this shit up. And, you know, I bought more of it. You know, I became fucking addicted to this. So, you know, there you go. You know, here's another Thrash classic, or Good Milk classic, or whatever. It's classic metal album, either way. Vogel, vulgar Display of Power by, you know, just a little band called Pantera, you know. Just one of the biggest metal bands of all time, you know. No big deal. <sighs> but anyway, you know, there's Mouth for War, here's a new level, there's fucking Hostel, there's Fuck! Are you talking to me? There's this love, there's Rise, there's Beat by Demons Be Driven, it's fucking amazing, man. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. And I've got, uh. uh here's another record I actually have that uh, is, was not actually made in the original. Uh, it's got a really cool story from how I got this. Sepultura Beneath the Remains. <laughs> okay, so I actually got this from uh, none other than my music teacher. <laughs> yeah. My music teacher is fucking amazing. Horse up to you, Mr. Preston. <laughs> Alright, so I got this, you know, Sepultura disc from my music teacher, Long of Live After Death. Bloody hell. By Maiden, uh. I think. Fucking. Uh, oh yeah, and Mass Sons the Hunter. <laughs> my mind just blew up there for a second. So, Beneath the Remains, Sepultura's best album. There's so many great stuff on here. There's Inner Self, it's a title track. There's Mass Hypnosis, there's Slaves of Pain. Probably my favourite track on the album, Slaves of Pain. And you know, there's so much more. I, I, and next, I actually also got another Sepultura album. Got a best of Sepultura album up there, but I can't be out getting it. Probably end up showing it in like other videos. Like, I'll probably do like an end video where I'm like, other music. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. Arise. Well, this is fucking amazing as well. I mean, there's Dead and Bright Excels on here, there's Desperate Cry, there's Arise, there's. Like a Scott Burns mix of like this the sky cry. <laughs> There's like the cover of Orgasmatron. I don't actually know if it's a cover, I cannot remember. <laughs> Haven't listened to it in so long. And here's probably one of the oldest fresh albums I have. And facts among the living. Fuck yes. Okay, just fuck yes. That's all you need to say about this album. It's fucking awesome. Alright, so let's get two albums out of the way at once, because I've got four left, alright? This will be a slightly quicker video, but anyway. Megadeth, Peace Sells, but who is buying, and Megadeth, Rust in Peace. Rust in Peace is my favourite Megadeth album. I fucking love Marty Friedman as a guitarist. He fucking kicks ass, I mean, it without, like, Take No Prisoners is my favourite Megadeth song of all time, <laughs> of all fucking time, no, not hang your 18, I'm sorry, I just la laugh for no reason sometimes, <laughs> you'll have to deal with it, uh, Peach Sells with Hume Buying, you know, that's fucking amazing as well, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty fucking cool, Wake Up Dead's fucking amazing, that's probably my second favorite Megadeth song, and I've got two, like, albums left, one is by the biggest metal band of all time, is it now? Kill them all by Megadeth. Oh wait, what? What? Oh, I'm sorry, Metallica. <laughs> Metallica. I'm sorry. Uh, God, it's so hard to get those bands mixed up. I'm sure, they're just the same band in disguise. Kill them all by Metallica, Megadeth. Whatever the hell the bands are too called. You just call them Metal Metal Death. There we go, Metal Death or Megatallica. <laughs> uh, kill them all. All right, but all serious, let's seriousness uh Dave Mustaine is the guy you kind of have to owe for this album because he wrote most of the stuff on here apart from possibly Anesthesia which was like Cliff Burton which is amazing it's fucking awesome it's hands down the fucking one of the best metal instrumentals that you're going to hear along with like fucking Orion and uh, I'd also show my master puppet CD but I gave that to my mate because he's I think you probably want it more than I do because I don't jam it a lot anymore. It's so my last record of Thrash, my most recent recent one I got. And it's a fucking blast. That's all I'm going to say about it. Testament, the legacy. 
Okay, I like when I got in, I was fucking so fucking happy that this is an HMV. I just went up because like the metal collection is not huge. It was possibly a size like this one here. It's possibly the size of that. And it'll be small, it'll be like half the size of that wall. <laughs> but it's fucking amazing, man. Because, like, and the most of the heavy metal like, section is filled with, like, all metal core and, like, Blackfield Brides and shit, you know, non metal. There's fucking Green Day in the metal selection. For God's sake. Get that shit out of there. Get me some fucking real metal. But then again, they're selling, like, you know, they're selling some stuff for, like, real underground stuff. They're selling, like, uh, fucking. What's it called? Belfagor, never to listen to them, I won't lie, I'm gonna have to go check them out sometime. They're also selling like Behemoth, uh, Cannibal, Morbid Angel, uh, Trivium, the band of my fucking shirt. I fucking love those guys, really wanna go see them. Can't catch them, uh, the sad thing is I cannot actually catch them on their UK run. Uh, but I can go catch Cannibal on their UK run. I, want, I, I got to go see Cannibal Corpse and I think they'll be fucking amazing. I realise my mum's gonna fucking hate them. <laughs> but I think they'll be fucking awesome though. You know, I think they'll be fucking awesome and I think I'll be a windmill like a fucking boss of that show. Like like most of the other fans will. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking amazing though, seriously. It's fucking badass. So anyway. Enough for talking about random bands. Testament to Legacy. Best Testament album ever that's been released. Probably the best album that came out non the big four, 80s first band and when Slayer break up people are talking about who should join the big four. Most people are saying Exodus. I personally am not a big Exodus guy, even though I think like Gary Holt is a fucking amazing guitarist. Testament, you know, I think they're the fucking ones who belong. And Chuck Billy's fucking great singing, great like vocals for thrash metal thrash metal. <laughs> Right, and uh, what the hell? And like, oh yeah, best metal cover. I'm just gonna talk tell you now. Best metal cover is Testament's cover of Power Slave, possibly followed by like Trivium's Iron Maiden, and then Cradle of Filth, How Be Fine Name, and then possibly Ice Earth's Black Sabbath. <laughs> I like how they're like all Maiden songs except the Black Sabbath, <laughs> and then possibly. Vader's Black Sabbath. <laughs> yeah, Vader's cover of Black Sabbath is quite fucking good as well. Alright, anyway, that's my fresh collection right there. Yeah, it's a nice little collection. I'm really happy with it. You know, got a few of these are gifts, so thanks to the people who gave us them. You know, horns up to you guys. Okay, all of you. You know who you are. Uh, and, you know, that's my video for today. So, first of all, I'm going to go drink. So, I'm going to go fucking have a drink. Wait for Because I just done this straight after my Death in Black on video. So, I'm going to go finish this up. Wait for that to, like, upload. Then I'm going to go up this, upload this. And then, probably, just going to go sit down and, like, watch some other YouTube fucking videos. Alright, so, cheers for watching, guys. Stay fucking brutal.